columns, we have 51.5 versus 33.3. And that's what we're going to be testing for a difference in the McNamara chi-square statistic analysis. And this is what SPSS gives you. And it's unfortunate. Overall, you'd have to say the McNamara test in SPSS is a disappointment because it doesn't even give you the chi-square value because under certain conditions, it resorts to the binomial distribution rather than doing a proper McNamara chi rather doing a specific McNamara chi-square statistic. And what we can find is that it failed to reject the null hypothesis. So this difference, which looks pretty big to me, 18%, uh, the McNamara test is not finding to be statistically significant. In fact, it's not even really very close. True, the sample size is small, and that's one of the major uh, hang-ups with this analysis, is that uh, in the real study, there were only 33 uh, children in the study. But what I would caution you to do is to not stop and just do the McNamara chi McNamara chi-square statistic in SPSS. There's a macro that exists that can perform the analysis in a more powerful way. And uh, I'm not going to talk a lot about this because I'm going to make a separate video on this this McNamara chi-square statistic syntax file or macro more specifically. And um, so I'm just going to run this and I'll explain what's going on. So I'm going to go to my output. So uh, this is what the, the whole syntax looks like and that's not th nothing very interesting. Uh, but what's important is that this SPSS syntax file will calculate the confidence intervals associated with um, the difference between the percentages. So here are those percentages, 51.5 versus 33.3. So there's a drop from age 1 to age 3 in the percentage of children who cry at night. And that's a difference of 18.18. And the confidence interval uh, the lower bound is actually just barely crossing zero. And down here, the, the, uh, the script gives output that uh, gives uncorrected chi-square value. And I'm arguing that that's a better value. The uncorrected uh, value is associated with a significance le level of p equal 0 0.0578, which is very close to statistically significant. Whereas the corrected value uh, gives a chi-square value of 2.5. And what I'm getting at here is uh, SPSS performs a correction for continuity. It's, a, it's called the Yates correction for continuity. And SPSS applies this uh, automatically in its McNamara chi-square statistic. And there's plenty of research showing that this correction is inappropriate. It's way too conservative. Uh, so, so I would recommend uh, that you disregard McNamara chi-square statistic in SPSS every time and use this macro that I'll post on uh, the corresponding website uh, post for this uh, video and I'll put the link underneath the summary and it's so it's great it gives you the confidence intervals it gives you the uncorrected as well as the corrected and you can see that there's a huge difference and on that blog I'll also put some references to help support you in not using the Yates correction because there's so much research saying that you shouldn't use it I hope you find this uh, video useful and I'll catch you next time